Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to talk about comparing fractions. So we are going to use cross product. So if we're using cross product, we can find equivalent fractions give the same cross product. So same po kapag nag cross product tayo, ibig sabihin, makikita natin kung parehas ba yung kanilang product. So if pa, same yung product nila, it means the fractions are equal. Two fractions are equal if they have the same cross product. So sample tayo. For example, 4, 8, and 9, 18. So makikita niyo po, 4, 8, this is the first fraction. 9, 18 is the second fraction. So cross lang natin siya. Numerator times denominator. And ganun din sa kabila denominator and the numerator. So, let's proceed. First, cross 4 times 18. So, numerator 4, denominator 18. So, let's find the product. 4 times 18 equals 72. Then, the other one, pair is 8 and 9. So, 8 times 9 equals 72. So, we will um, look at the product. Product is the answer after we multiply. So, 72 and 72. Since parehas ang sagot, it means 4, 8, and 9, 18 are equal. Another one. 2 fifth, 3 tenth. So, the first pair, 2 times 10. So, get the product. 2 times 10 equals 20. Then, 5 times 3 equals 15. Since magkaiba sila, um, tingnan po natin kung ano yung mas malaki. So, 20 is greater than 15. Therefore, 2 fifth is greater than 3 tenth. Kasi mas malaki po ang 20 sa 15. Another one, 5 eight and 11 sixteenth. So, get the product, 5 and 16. 5 times 16 equals 80. And the other one, 8 times 11 equals 88. 80, 88. So 80 is less than 88. Therefore, the answer is less than 5, 8 is less than 11 over 16. Another one, 3 fourth and 5, 8. So get the product. 3 times 8 equals 24. 4 times 5 equals 20. 24 is greater than 20. So 3 fourth is greater than 5 8. Another one, 2 fifth, 10 fortieth. So 2 times 40 equals 80. 5 times 10 equals 50. So, 80 is greater than 50. Therefore, 2 fifth is greater than 10 over 40. Another one, 4 8 and 9 over 18. So, the first pair, 4 times 18. So, 4 times 18 equals 72. And the product of 8 and 9 equals 72. 72 and 72, they are equal. So, 4, 8, and 9 over 18 is equal. Another one, 2, 4, and 9 over 18. So, get the product of 2 and 18. 2 times 18 equals 36. 4 times 9 equals 36. So, 36 and 36, they are equal. Now, also, we can find... The missing part of two fraction. Para malaman natin, makompare natin. Okay. So, dapat equal sila. So, pahahanapin po natin yon. Same procedure po. For example, 2 over blank equals 9 over 18. So, nawawala yung denominator ng first fraction. So, same lang po. Cross product pa rin po ang gagamitin natin. So, yung una, titingnan po natin ano yung complete na pair. Numerator and denominator. Since ito yung complete, so ito po yung multiply natin. So, 2 at 18. 2 times 18 equals 36. 
sunod, yung sagot po na 36 dito, i-divide natin sa pair ng nawawala. So, ito yung another cross, part ng cross. Kita nyo po. So, ang may number tayo ay 9. So, i-divide natin. 36 divided by 9. So, the answer is equal to 4. It means the missing one is 4. To check, multiply, 4 times 9 equals 36. So, the answer is 36. Another one. The missing is the numerator of another fraction. 2 7 equals blank over 14. So, the complete one is the first pair 2 and 14. So, multiply 2 times 14 equals 28. Okay, next po, yung 28 na sagot, i-divide natin sa pair ng nawawala. So, 28 divided by 7 equals 4. It means the missing part is 4. To check, multiply 7 times 4 equals 28. So, same na yung kanilang product. Another one, 1 half and 8 over blank. So, the, it, baliktad naman po yung complete. Ito naman sa kabila, 2 at 8. So, multiply 2 times 8 equals 16. Then, ganun din, i-divide natin sa pair ng nawawala, 16 divided by 1 equals 16. Okay, to check, 1 times 16 equals 16. So, same na yung kanilang brother. So, that's all. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe para makakuha po kayo ng mga, para malaman nyo po yung mga iba, yung mga susunod po po mga topic. Thank you.